On the 6th of December 1989, Classic Who came to an end with the final episode of Survival broadcasting on that date. And this is the final shot. The seventh Doctor and Ace walking off back to the TARDIS and leaving the viewers wondering what the adventures they would get up to off screen. And that was a question left unanswered for 16 years, until the show's revival in 2005, with Christopher Elkiston as the ninth Doctor and Billy Piper as the new companion, Rose Tyler. Now, here's a question to you, my dear viewers. What if, in 1989, it didn't get cancelled, and the show continued on into the 1990s and beyond? Well, my dear viewers, that's a question I hopefully will be able to answer during this video series. So without further ado, welcome my friends to Doctor Who Beyond 1989. Season 29 of Doctor Who would have aired in the year 1992. This season would have been the second for the 8th Doctor, played by David McCallum, and would also be the last full season for Caroline Harker, playing Rain Cunningham. This would have been the second season for Ian Fraser as the executive producer, and the second season for Ben Aronovich as the script editor. Now, in terms of the behind the scenes of this season, it's not really that different compared to the previous year, except for a slight budget increase for each serial, which gave the production team enough time to add in an extra story to this season, from the usual four stories that we've been used to since 1986. So, the episode count this time around would have been around about 18 episodes. The first and second episodes would have been four parts long, the third and fourth episodes would have been three parts long, and the finale episode, which is episode 5, would have been four parts long. And apart from those two factors, there's not really much changed like I mentioned previously. So without further ado, let's actually delve in to Season 29 in 1992. The first story of Season 29 would have been A Legal Alien, written by Mike Tucker and Robert Perry. The Blitz is at its height, as the loved Revy bomb London. Cody McBride, expat American private eye, sees a sinister silver sphere crash land. He glimpses something emerging from within. The military dismiss his account of events. The sphere must be a new German secret weapon that has malfunctioned in some way. What else could it be? Arriving amid the chaos, the Doctor and Rain embark on a trial that brings them face to face with hidden Nazi agents and encounter some very old enemies. This story would have been considered a great season opener, with a World War II thriller featuring a brand new design of a Cyberman akin from the real in space designs, but done right. And of course, the magnificent return of David Banks as the Cyber Leader is always welcome. The second story would have been Nightshade, written by Mark Gatiss. Professor Nightshade, tea time terror for all the family and the most loved show in Britain. But Professor Nightshade's days are long over, and Edmund. Trevi Vick is now just an unemployed actor in a retirement home, fondly remembering his past. It's the same through the entire village of Crook Marsham. People are falling prey to their memories, at first harmlessly, and then the bodies begin to turn up. The Doctor and Rain arrive on the scene, but with the Doctor planning his retirement, it may be time for Professor Nightshade to solve 
one last case. The general reception around this story is considered to be a good story. Not one of the best Doctor Who stories of all time or anything, but it's still good within its own right, and a pretty decent debut for the young Mark Gators as the writer for Doctor Who. The third story of season 29 would have been Transit, written by Ben Aronovich. It's the ultimate in mass transit systems, a network of interterrestrial tunnels that bind the planets of the solar system together. Earth to Pluto in 40 minutes with a superwave norm premium of peak travel card. But something is living in the network, during its way to the very heart of the system and leaving a trail of death and mutation behind it. The Doctor and Rain soon get dragged into human history as soon as they arrive. Back down amongst the Joy Boys, Free Servers, Chess Fans, Politicians and Floozies, where the friends are more dangerous than enemies, and one man's human being is another's psychotic killing machine. Once again, the Doctor is all that stands between humanity and its own stakes. This story isn't generally liked by fans, and is considered to be the weakest of not only this season, but one of the weakest stories in David McCallum's era as a whole. It's got a very interesting premise, though some things could have been retweaked. The fourth story of season 29 would have been Blood Harvest by Terence Dix. Decker is a private eye, an honest one in fact. But when Al Capone hires him to investigate a new joint called Docs, he knows this is one job he can't refuse. And just why are the Doctor and a random person on the streets selling illegal booze in a town full of murderous gangsters? Meanwhile, Rain has been abandoned on a vampire infested planet outside normal space. There, she meets a mysterious stranger called Romana, and discovers an ancient and malevolent power linking 1929 Chicago with a lair of immortal evil. The consequences of this story are indescribably linked to events in the Doctor's past. Blood Harvest is considered to be the best of this season, with a very gothic atmosphere, especially with the term of the vampires from State of Decay, as well as a very welcome return of the second incarnation of Romana. And also many praise for the fact that Rain mainly gets the spotlight here, apart from the Doctor of course. The fifth and last story of season 29 would have been Avatar, written by David A. McKinty. When Merlin returns, the dead shall rise. That is the prophecy of Arkham, a town in New England whose inhabitants are desperate to prevent it from coming true. But when a strange man in a blue box and his assistants arrive, their hopes are in vain. Meanwhile, the Doctor must come to terms with who he is to combat an alien menace that has brought back the dead. Just who is he really? Who are these creatures that threaten Arkham so badly? And what do they want with Museum? This story would have been considered to be a decent finale to this season, with a very intriguing premise. And having a funny little reference to when Doctor was referred to Merlin back in Battlefield. And that concludes Season 29 of Doctor Who, which would have aired in 1992. This season is considered to be a mixed bag overall, leaning to a more positive review. There are some cracking stories in here, such as Illegal Alien and Blood Harvest, just to name a few. But, with the weaker story Transit being part of this season, it does drag the season down just a tiny bit. Though that didn't really matter, as the viewing figures continue to rise. Not by a dramatic amount once again, but it is still going high. Now, 
Let's have a look at the behind the scenes after season 29 concluded. After the season was over, it was announced a few months later that Caroline Harker was to leave Doctor Who at the start of season 30. Though she would make a cameo appearance in the 30th anniversary special. And Jonathan Powell has decided to step down as the BBC One controller, with the successor being Alan Yentob. And in terms of the production side of things, after the success of season 29, in terms of the viewing figure side of things, the Doctor Who production office has decided to give Doctor Who a little bit more budget once again towards the 30th anniversary season, making the five episodes of this season go up to six. And there's also a special budget dedicated to the 30th anniversary special serial. Now, next year, will be Doctor Who's 30th anniversary. And what would the program do in that year to celebrate this special occasion? Well, my friends, I guess that's a question for we would have to answer for another time. And you have made it to the end card of Doctor Who Beyond 1989, Episode 3. Um... So, this episode was kind of a shorter one than I expected to go. I guess that's just how things go around here. Um, some videos may be a little bit longer, some might be a little bit shorter, just like this one. Um, weirdly, despite it having a longer story count, th th that's a little bit weird. Um... So, the 30th anniversary is coming up. Um, I have a good idea on the first two stories that I want to include for this season itself, as well as the final story for that season. I'm not sure about the middle portion and the um, overall f anniversary itself, you know what I mean? Um... There are a few options that I could go for here. I could go through the Dimensions in Time route, but I'm not going to do that. Because of the obvious reasons, I don't think I need to explain any more about that. Um, I could go through the Dark Dimension route, but I'm not sure how that would work out, since the actual story in real life didn't get made at the time because of the budget issues that I had. So, it could work here, it could not still, I don't know. Or maybe I could just use another multi-doctor story from a novel or something like that. Maybe like the eighth the eight, um, what was it called again? The Eight Doctors, sorry, by, um, Terence Dix. I could use that. Well, um, yeah, I could still use that. But in terms of other options for that, um, story, I have no idea. Sorry if I'm mumbling a lot. I'm trying to think about the, um, 30th season. Um, now, in terms of a season... Um, it's going to be a little bit more of a blockbuster feel, much like Season 28, but possibly a little bit more of a blockbuster, if you get what I mean. Because, of course, it's the 30th anniversary, you have to go all out on an anniversary, despite it having a bit of a 90s budget of the BBC. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, I think I'm gonna end it here guys. What do you think of um, season 29 as a whole? Do you agree with the mix to positive reception that I have gave this season? What do you think of David McCannum's Doctor thus far now we've seen two seasons of him? Do you still really like him? Do you still don't like him? Whatever your thoughts are, please do let me know in the comment section down below. And this has been Tokumei Who. 
the place where tokusatsu, anime, and sci-fi are my main talking points on the channel. And as always, guys, I shall see you guys next time for another video. Bye!